This video is going to show you how to use score codes in Power Teacher. They're kind of like custom um, grades that you can enter, uh, as well as use some of Power Teacher's already predefined flags. Uh, Power Teacher actually calls them codes, but I call them flags. So first thing you need to do is log into Power Teacher and launch the gradebook. Uh, I like to click the quick link here. Once you're in the gradebook, make sure you have the correct year selected that you want. Uh, to show the correct course that you want. It's always good to recognize what reporting term you're in. I like to view the full year reporting term so I see all assignments for the full year as opposed to just seeing maybe assignments for a particular semester or quarter. So, uh, you see here in the gradebook I actually already have a score code entered in here. ABS. That stands for absent. Uh, I've created that score code so I can sort of mark and see uh, that the student was absent which is why they don't have that assignment. What I used to have to do is when a student was absent and I wanted the, that absence to uh, indicate that, like to, to affect their grade, I would have to enter in a zero. For example, this student here doesn't have a score for assignment two. I'm going to enter in a zero. And then once I do that, it influences their grade. When they're absent, I like it to hurt their grade so that way they, you know, they get in there fast to, to fix that missing assignment. Uh, however, this doesn't really indicate why they got a zero. Maybe they just bombed everything and got zero points. So what I want to do is make a, a custom score code to, to do that. So I'm going to go back to my usual settings. I'm going to show you how to create a custom score code. Go to Tools, Preferences, and of course while you're here you should look at all the different options that are available. So I'll just click my way down the tabs and I'm going to stop at score codes. You can see that I already have actually two score codes created. Uh, NA is one code, and the description is not enrolled. So this is like not applicable or not enrolled. I can use this code to kind of indicate that, that the student wasn't enrolled for that assignment, um, it shouldn't hurt them, so under percent you see that they're actually exempt, and for something called numeric they're also exempt. This is actually kind of important that this exempt status is different than another exempt status using the, the PowerSchool exempt flag, and we'll see that in a second. You see my other score code called ABS for absent. You see here for percent, zero. They actually get zero percent for that assignment. In other words, no matter how many points it's worth, or whatever letter grade it might be worth, uh, they get zero. Um, and then also under numeric, it's also zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to add a new score code. Let's make a score code uh, for if we catch a kid cheating. So I'm going to put the score code as CH. Uh, a description I'll put, maybe I'll even say caught cheating. Boo. Uh, you see here that for value, right now the exempt box is checked. I don't want them to be exempt. I want it to hurt their grade. So I will take that off. And for percent, I want them to get 0%. No matter what points it's worth, or what they even got, they're getting zero. Now for the numeric part, the maximum and where you can have a value, uh, if you read up in here, that's more applicable for having uh, numeric scales for standards. Our school doesn't use standards, or we haven't really used it yet, so um, this really doesn't apply, but I like to do this, especially if the percent is zero, I make custom value also be zero. But again, for me, we really don't care about it, so uh, look more into that if your school uses standards. I'm going to say OK. And there we go. I have my, my new score code. I'm going to go ahead and go use it. This student, for assignment number two, let's say they were caught cheating. So I'm going to mark it as with my new score code, CH. Notice I even used lowercase, but it automatically matched it to the capital. And notice you see that their final grade or their overall grade dropped because they got 0%. This assignment is technically worth uh, 24 points, but they got 0% of that, so they got nothing. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, let me use another score code here for this first assignment for the student. Let's just say that they weren't enrolled yet during this date. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do my NA score code. Not applicable. They were not enrolled. Uh, and of course, it didn't change their grade. That's what it was after the cheating score got put in. Let me go ahead and click Save. I'm going to point out one other thing. You see how this one's grayed out right there? I'll highlight it, but it's still kind of grayed out. Let me click uh, out of the way so you can see it without. It's kind of grayed out right there. This assignment is also grayed out, but for a different reason. They were given 90 points, but if I right-click using a PC, 
these are the power school what I call flags actually these right here the first four you could flag it as being collected you could flag it as being late exempt which I have marked on and missing All right now this one is marked as exempt um, so it's not hurting their grade but you still see the points and parents actually still see it let me go ahead and show you on the parent portal I'm logged as, an, as a parent for this for this kid uh, this this screen is a little out of date but uh, now we see their grade of no credit first off you might see that the assignment number one the first assignment is not even here this is kinda interesting I really didn't recognize this but uh, when I exempted using the score code let me go back in there real fast tools preferences score code this uh, not enrolled not applicable exempt this type of exempt status actually made it so this assignment didn't even show up didn't even show up on the on the parent portal they don't even see it that's kinda slick now you might also notice here this other assignment the chapter 7 test actually has a little code this is the power school code purple kinda diamond rhombus you see down here in the key the legend that that means the score is exempt from final grade they still see the score but it's exempt from their final grade so it's not actually helping their grade this A plus <laughs> is not helping them and you can see because their final grade is still really bad for our school that's called no credit it's just too low a percent okay let me also go to another student that that I am I'm a parent of a pretend parent of and we'll see that they also have a code marked there. Notice they do see assignment one because they have a grade. They see assignment two with the marking or the score code. Instead of a grade, they have a score code of ABS. That means absent. But as you can see here, nowhere can the parent tell that ABS stands for absent. That's kind of interesting. So make sure the score code you use is, is descriptive enough. There is no key or legend that says ABS means uh, absent. Unfortunately, the description does not show. But you can see here that the power school flag that is marked right here, the triangle, uh, it says late. On the grade book, you can see that right here, a little L in the corner. You could do that again by right clicking on a PC and using one of the power school flags. Okay? So, um, I might want to change my score code for cheating. The CH is not going to be very descriptive for parents. If I go back to the parent portal and I check out this student's it's not going to be very descriptive uh, for the parent to know that CH means that they cheated. Let's take a peek. Right now it just says CH. So what you can do is maybe have a little bit better score code. I'm going to go into Preferences, Tools and Preferences, and Score Code, and I'm going to change this one. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to make it say Cheat. It's a little bit long, but that's okay. So now I need to go and change this, because right now CH is not a code. Cheat. There we go. I'm going to save that. If I go back to the parent portal, let me refresh this page. And now we see a more informative score code cheat. So it's important to recognize what uh, parents see as to what kind of score code you should use. So there you go. That's how you can use custom score codes as well as the PowerSchool um, preset flags to help uh, mark your gradebook.